but but maybe the the controversial part comes in hey accept me as i am and and don't ever expect that part to change like right yes welcome you as you are and want the best for you jesus wants the best for you he doesn't he wants the best for all of us yeah there's a version of us all being accepted where we are and called into being more than that and there's a yeah there's a maturity of like going through life as a christian of whether it's in friendships or marriage whatever it might be i mean there's growth there i mean I, just looking back it's probably i was probably way more excited when i was first became a christian and then like man i'm looking through this lens this is going to be tough yeah it's it's tough in 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 marriage it's tough in work it's tough in how you converse with people and how you're seen it's like the honeymoon period it exists like when you first have a relationship that fire that romance yeah. It's so good. You can't imagine a version of reality that doesn't involve you with that person. And everything is going to be perfect. Everything is fire. But the work comes in at some point. Yes. I think that applies to your faith. That applies to like meeting a new friend, discovering a new podcast that gives you a new idea and you want to just tell everybody about it. You become an evangelist for some some idea like, oh, this is the way it is. You got to check out this podcast. So he, that, he has the answer. Or she has the answer. It. It doesn't, you just have to keep sitting in that. And then eventually it, you'll start to see little cracks in the armor. And that that's where the work comes in or the discernment or with, with marriage where you're committed to somebody. It's like, okay, I know who this person is. We've hit this rough patch. Let me look at the big picture and work through this kind of a thing because in it to win it, baby. I don't know. Those that's are- why I, on the last episode with Brandon, I, I challenged the statement, Jesus changes everything. Um, because that's when, when you don't, uh, when you don't unpack exactly what that means, especially with young Christians, oh, well, things are going to be better now, like uh, automatically be better. And I feel like ev- almost every single person I've ever known growing up who became a Christian, like 